Sodium is one of the major electrolytes in our body and assists in the regulation of fluid balance, pH levels, and other health aspects. In this video, I want to talk about what sodium is, its roles in the body, and how to get enough sodium, which means we will also talk about supplementation at the end of the video. Let's start by discussing what sodium is and why we need it. Sodium is an essential dietary mineral, meaning we need to get it from food and cannot produce it ourselves. Together with chloride, it forms white crystalline cubes of sodium chloride, which you know as table salt. The RDA for healthy adults is a maximum of 2,300 milligrams daily. That is the equivalent of about one teaspoon of salt a day. Sodium has several different functions in the body. The main ones are first to act as a solvent. You see, sodium is a monovalent element, meaning it has one free electron. It can dissolve many compounds made of other minerals such as calcium, magnesium, copper, or zinc. That's also why you add salt to your dishwasher, because it dissolves the calcium in hard water to soften it, which in turn makes it easier for the machine to ward off hard water stains from your dishes. Another function is to act as an electrolyte for your body's energy metabolism. Together with calcium, sodium is the main extracellular electrolyte, meaning it is found mostly outside the cells. This is unlike magnesium and potassium, which are found in higher concentrations inside the cells. The famous sodium-potassium pump pumps sodium out of the cells and potassium into them, which sets up an electrical charge that keeps the body function properly. Sodium also helps maintain healthy hydration and blood pressure. As you probably know, sodium retains water. Your kidneys and adrenal glands work together to regulate the amount of sodium in your body and therefore regulate the amount of water your body holds. This is done mostly through a hormone called aldosterone, which is produced in the adrenals. The higher your aldosterone levels, the higher your sodium retention. Of course, the amount of water in your body also influences your blood pressure, and a high sodium diet has been linked to higher blood pressure. I will talk about this again in a second. Let's now talk about high sodium foods and its best sources. Most people unfortunately get their sodium from things such as processed meats, prepackaged sauces, or junk foods, like chips. All of these are low quality foods that you generally want to avoid. Instead, you want to get your sodium from healthy foods such as vegetables, fish, and of course, quality salt. When we talk about salt, you will usually hear the argument that it should be limited because too much salt raises blood pressure. While this is technically true, only focusing on sodium intake is too simplistic in my experience. You see, the underlying cause of high blood pressure is usually a mix of many different factors, of which sodium intake is just one. Others are a chronic potassium deficiency, calcification of the arteries, and generally too much stress in your life. Another problem is that most people eat table salt, which has been refined and stripped of all its other essential minerals that you would find in an unrefined natural salt. Your standard refined salt is 40% sodium and 60% chloride, nothing else. In some cases, aluminum is even added to improve its ability to pour. But aluminum can accumulate in the body where it acts as a toxic metal, so this would be even worse than just getting table salt. Instead, my advice is to opt for an unrefined sea salt. Sea salt is obtained either directly through the evaporation of seawater or it comes from salt mines, which are former seabeds from millions of years ago. In either case, by choosing a natural, unrefined salt, you not only avoid possible additives of refined salt, but you also get natural trace minerals that are found in the dry seabeds. While it is true that the amounts of trace minerals are very small, sea salt has a natural balance of nutrients that most people seem to tolerate a lot better than the pure sodium chloride mix found in table salt. In my experience as a nutritionist, its effect on blood pressure is much gentler when used in normal amounts. Of course, if you have high blood pressure, always speak to your doctor first. One more thing, some people will tell you to eat iodized table salt because natural salt doesn't have iodine. The problem is that the iodine found in table salt 
is usually low bioavailable potassium or sodium iodide. A much better and more bioavailable iodine source is kelp, which you can buy online or at your local health store. This then takes us to the question of how much sodium you need and how much you should take. First things first, you generally don't need sodium supplements because they will literally be expensive table salt. Instead, like I said before, get a quality salt that is unrefined. As I said earlier, the sodium RDA for healthy adults is a maximum of 2300 mg, which is about a teaspoon of salt. You can add this to your food over the course of the day. Again, please keep in mind though that the sodium levels in your body are mostly determined by your adrenals and not your direct salt intake. To measure salt levels in the body, I suggest you get a hair analysis instead of a blood test, like I do for most other minerals. The reason is that sodium deficiency is actually fairly common, sometimes even in people with high blood pressure. The cause of this are usually weak adrenals that release too little aldosterone. That means even if you consume plenty of salt, your body cannot hold on to it without high enough aldosterone levels. This was a problem I had for a long time and only figured out after my first hair analysis. Okay, to wrap up this video and summarize the most important learnings, sodium is an important mineral and electrolyte and needs to be consumed regularly. Its activity in the body is controlled mostly by the adrenal glands and other important minerals such as potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Do your best to avoid junk and processed foods as your sodium source and instead go for a quality unrefined natural salt.